Hey there, big guy. Hello. I'm just joking, man. Come on in. Do you remember the time I told you that I loved you and you thought I had a crush on you? Yeah, that was weird. That was pretty awkward, but yeah. I did mean it. As a friend, right? Oh, yeah, as a friend, of course. Okay. But, I mean, I can understand why a guy would fall for you, because you're so nice. You're just a great guy. Oh, my gosh. What do you want this time? I need your help. With what? Girls, like always. I mean, you are the ladies' man. Everybody comes for you for advice, right? Well, I am the ladies' man. Yeah, that's so true. So I need some advice. All right, I'll help you, but just this one time. Thanks. Babe, come on, it's not a big deal. You know what? It is a big deal. You're a criminal. I can't date a criminal. It's just a library. People set him on fire all the time. Is that your sister outside? Yeah, I think so, her boyfriend. Get off my lawn. Come on, let's just talk for a minute. Come on. I don't want to talk. In fact, I'm going to go get my brother. No, get come out. Come on, just talk to me. Talk to me. Daniel, can you please go out there? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you better get out of here. Everything okay? Yeah, you don't have to worry about him anymore, Madeline. Thanks, Daniel. Well, I guess I better take off, but it was good seeing you guys. I'm sorry if I ran you guys into night with this. Nah, it's no big deal. All right, see you, Eric. So did you hit him with a swing or a sidekick? You don't want to know. What is it the girls are looking for in a guy, Daniel? I mean, do I have to change my appearance or something? Look, that right there is the reason you don't have a girlfriend. Well, a good one anyways. Girls don't like a guy who's uncomfortable being himself. Confidence will get you a lot further in good looks. I guess that makes sense, but I mean, I don't really know how to start a conversation with a girl. What the ladies like the best about me is I walk up to them, introduce myself, and then most importantly, I make them feel good about themselves. Oh, so you mean like proposing marriage? Exactly! Wait, what? I just go up to a girl, propose we get married, and she'll feel appreciated, right? No. I go up to her and ask if she wants to have sex? Okay, you're going the wrong way on this one in two different directions. You walk up to a girl and say something like, that's a lovely blouse you're wearing. But it would look better on my bed, right? Girls hate that. The good girls do. Hey Chief, can I get a cocktail on the rocks? Yeah, I'll get you a juice cocktail with ice in it. Hey, what's with the sissy drinks, sailor? Afraid to step up to the plate and drink with the apes? Who is this guy? That's my cousin Will. He's a little... Eh. He thinks that this is an actual bar and that he's actually drinking. It's just cola with vanilla in it. I thought it'd be a good idea though that he's here, because he always brings his best friend. And she's single. So? A chance for you to talk to a girl? Well... I got a urine. Anyone want to watch? No? No? Alright. You're so strong! Ah! Now's your chance, man. So what do I do? Tell her a bunch of jokes or something? Okay, slow down. Jokes are good, don't get me wrong. But never be the funny guy. Girls always say the same thing about the funny guy. They always say, Well, he's really funny, but I can never see myself dating him. Just try talking to her, man. And if it goes really well, Ask her to continue the conversation over lunch sometime. Hi, I'm Eric. Karen. So is that guy your boyfriend or something? Well, he's really funny, but I couldn't see myself dating him. Oh, I'm sorry I assumed. It's okay. So what do you do for a living? Well, I actually started my own business. I sell candles online. Really? That's amazing. I've always admired people who have the courage to start their own business. Well, hey, listen. I don't normally do this, but I was wondering if sometime you'd like to... Wait, do you have to take a poop or something? No, I don't. Oh, it's just that's the way my face looks when I have to take a poop. Well, it was nice meeting you. Wait, dinner on Saturday? Absolutely not. Bye. I bet she's gonna go take a poop. I think she's going because you're an idiot! 
No, no, trust me. That was the poop face. I see it all the time. No! That was the I'm excited because a guy's about to ask me on a date face. Oh, man. What were you thinking? You told me to be myself. I figured I'd respect her bowels and let her go poop. I mean, I tell girls to go poop all the time when they have the poop face. I think we just discovered a huge part of your problem. Daniel! Where do you keep the mop? Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. Y yes? No, this one here is a no. Yeah. Alright, you're actually getting better at this. It's very important you know what conversation topics are appropriate when you first meet a girl. So we're actually going to go over this one more time. I still think most girls would find it interesting that I learned to play the kazoo in fifth grade. Eric, if the card says no, it's a no. Hey Daniel, hey Eric. Daniel, can you please wash the dog? He stinks. And I can't bring my friends in here when this house smells like a dump. Alright, yeah, I'll take care of it soon. We're actually finishing up something here, so... Okay, well, I'll leave you guys alone. This one's tough. All right, Leo, let's go, buddy. Come on. Oh. oh, hey, is that Dark Moon? Yeah, don't make fun of me for it, though. Why would I make fun of you for it? It's a good book. I mean, it's original. There's not a lot of zombie romance out there. I know. These books are pretty good. You read Nightlight, right? Of course. Yeah, I mean, Nightlight's pretty good, but I think the one you're reading, Dark Moon, it's so much better. Wait, you've read these books? Yeah, but don't tell Daniel. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> so are you Team Edwin or Team Jackson? Oh, Edwin, all the way. Me too. So how have you been since I last saw you? All right, I guess. So you and Michael, are you guys... Are we over? Yeah. But he keeps calling me. Any guy would keep calling if a girl like you left him. It'll just take some time for him to get over it. Hopefully. Well, hey, I know you're going through a lot and all, but if you ever need somebody to talk to, I'm a good listener. You know, the weather's pretty nice. Do you want to come to the park with me tomorrow? That sounds great. So, picnic tomorrow? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, well, um, I should get going, but I'll see you tomorrow. So, hey, uh, Daniel, I was wondering, what do you think about all the guys that your sister dates? What do I think about them? What do you mean? Uh, just, what do you think while she's out with them? I hate it when my sister's out with those guys. They're always like, hey, what's happening? And then they always end up hurting her in the end. I'll tell you this, if all those guys were in this garage right now, I would beat them so bad that they wouldn't even remember her name. Oh. Why are you so curious about my sister anyway? Oh, I've just been thinking about her a lot. You know, since the whole Michael thing, I just feel bad. She seems to be doing fine now. Why do you look so nervous? I mean, I'm happy to be here and I'm having a good time. It's, I'm just, I'm scared, I'm worried. I'm happy to be here too, but what's wrong? You're one of the coolest girls I know. I mean, you're smart and you're pretty, you're okay with farting in public, but if your brother knew that I was here with you, he'd kill me. He does know we're here together. What? Well, we always tell each other where we're going when we leave. Oh! Hey, Daniel. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Can I borrow Eric for a second? No. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can't believe this, man. I give you all this great dating advice and you're using it on my sister. It's a really nice shirt, Daniel. Um, is that why you do so well with the ladies? If you do anything to hurt my sister, I'm gonna kill you. I would never hurt your sister. I care too much about her. I care about her more than you care about hardwoods and you always use a coaster. Oh, well in that case, hey man, enjoy your date. I know for a fact she has two sandwiches in her bag and I'm pretty sure they're roast beef. Roast beef? Absolutely. Hey man. I'm happy for you. Thanks, man. I'll have her back by 10. Nine? Oh, hey, Eric. What are you doing? Um, me and Michael were just...
just gonna go to the monster truck show. Ooh, monster trucks, yeah. What are those flowers for? Are they for Daniel? Um, yeah, they're for Daniel. <laughs> you guys got a weird relationship. Monster trucks, ring of fire. Monster trucks, ring of fire. Yes, yeah. Eric, I'm sorry. I mean, Michael came back and he threw away his lighter and we decided we'd try to like patch things up. I'm really sorry. That's fine, I'm happy for you guys. I was just coming to see Daniel. Eric, you know he works now. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I forgot. But um, anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. You know she left me three messages? If I just checked my phone before I left, I would have saved myself a whole lot of embarrassment. I'm sorry, man. If it makes you feel any better, Michael's a jerk, and I'm sure she'll realize that soon. I just wish I was like you. You have a date with a great new girl every week, and I mean, me, I finally found one. She leaves me for a loser. Eric, I don't have a date with a new girl every week. Not even every year. I just make that stuff up so I don't have to hang out with you on the weekends. Oh great, even my best friend thinks I'm a loser. Come on man, don't talk like that. I don't think you're a loser. Trust me, if you are, then I'm a gigantic one. Yeah, I think you're a gigantic loser. So, how do we both overcome our situations? Babe, I thought you put the sandwiches in here. Do they I have to make you go back in there and fetch them for me? They should be in there at the bottom. Ooh. How did you get that? I didn't put that in here. <laughs> it's a sign. I gotta burn something. This bag? No. No, it's too small. The house, your house. Yeah, Michael, that's perfect. Burn down my house and we're done. I love you, Madeline! Eric? Madeline? You deserve a guy who really cares about you. One that isn't a pyromaniac. Somebody who cares about more than just lighting stuff on fire. You know what? I want to be that guy. Eric. That's really sweet, but if we don't do something soon, Michael might burn my house down. No, no, trust me, he won't. Help is on the way. Okay. Wait, when you said help is on the way, do you mean the cops? Not exactly. Hey Michael, how you doing, man? Oh, Daniel. Oh, oh no. Hey, good luck, you guys.